something amazing that is going to happen today. We are going to sing a song that is going to happen to us today. Please come, my sister. Because today, our help has come. Ay, 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 ay. Ebenezer, Ebenezer, ay, 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 ay. Ebenezer, my help has come. Ay, 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 ay. sharing this is because by a prophet Israel was brought out of Egypt can you hear me clearly and by a prophet there was preservation and so I believe that even as our father the man of God comes today there is a setting free from any kind of Egypt you have been in you know the Bible says that the expectation of the righteous shall not be I, I don't know whether I spoke to you I said the expectation of the righteous shall not be I didn't hear you the expectation of the righteous shall not be are you expecting anything today and to, my help has my help has come my help has come my help has come my help has come there is nothing like coincidence the fact that you are here tells you there is something God has for you today. You had many reasons not to come. But the wind of the Spirit. You could have been asleep tonight. But the wind of the Spirit. And the Bible says that and Elijah, the wind of the Spirit carried him. So there is a carrying by the wind of the Spirit. Your presence here is by the wind of the Spirit of God. And the Bible says about Philip, and the wind of the Spirit, the Spirit took him and carried him to a place. Ha! You know what happens? When God wants to shift certain things in a person's life, many of the times, Apostle that I love said so much, he said that it's a lot, it's too much pride to go to the mountains to pray for what someone else already has. And so when God wanted Apostle Paul to receive the Holy Spirit, although Jesus appeared to him, the Bible says, and Jesus told him, go to one Ananias. There is an Ananias in the building coming today. So my, mine is just to prepare you. We have come in a time where people are trivializing men of God. It doesn't look like anything is about to happen. And serious. But if you are sensitive, hey, if you are sensitive, Huh? The problem is not always with the man of God. The problem is always with the recipient. A cable can carry current, but it depends on what is tapping into that current. If it comes out to a plastic material, it will never flow. So your spirit has to be sensitive and say, Lord, if your man is coming with power, and I believe our father did not call us here to waste our time. If he's coming with something, it is for me. And so Ebenezer, my help has come today. Someone is saying in their mind, this is human worship. It is not. Read your Bible. When God wanted to anoint Elisha, the Bible says, and he told Elijah, go! You are going to find a man called Elisha. Why did the Spirit of God not just come on Elisha by himself? That tells you that when God wants to shift you, like tonight, maybe my church is on this side. Are you guys here? 
When God wants to shift a person like tonight, what he does is he brings an anointed man next to you. And your expectation of him, the Bible says whoever receives a prophet in the name of a prophet, receives a prophet's reward. And sometimes you have to overlook that you come from a different spiritual father. There are certain people that are apostolic to the entire body of Christ. And he gave some. He gave gifts to men. He gave men to men. He gave some apostles, some teachers. For the edification, we are the body. We are being edified tonight. There is an empowerment that is coming tonight and you cannot miss it. And you know what the Bible says? The Bible says, and so you shall be walking. You shall meet a company of the prophets and you shall begin to prophesy and you shall be turned into another man. I am being turned into another man today. My expectation is set that I'm being turned into another man today. You shall come in the company of prophets. You shall be turned. Why did God not make him a prophet in the palace? That says that there are places God brings you close to certain people that God knows this man is like a portal. And he says, I've made a covenant with my servant Abraham with my friend that whoever blesses you I will bless whoever curses you I will curse as long as Lord you are close to Abraham there is something that you are contacting today being in this atmosphere does not matter where you come from but if you are ready if you can conduct power if you can allow something to come your direction huh? if you can allow something power to to I know what God can make with the grace that is coming today. If you are looking for evidence, I'm evidence. I know I love him. I'm in love with my father. Daddy, I'm in love with you. I can't help it. But beyond that, you can come close to a prophet and like Gehazi, you go back with the leprosy. I refuse. How can someone whose bones could raise the dead not give you something that could transcend rations? How can you come close to Jesus and go back and commit suicide? Judas. That tells you there are people that came close to Jesus. One became an apostle over the body and one committed suicide. Tonight, whoever is coming, we are not worshipping, I'm just preparing you. This is the job of John the Baptist. This is the job of sons. And I'm telling you, receive no man after the flesh. Because if he comes and you look at his nice outfit, you are going back impressed. But if you look at what is coming in the spirit, There is coming another measure to us. Unless we accept that what is coming is for us. Huh? How can a man of God be praying the entire day, preparing for you, and you can't look like you are not ready for what is coming? How can you even sleep in this? It is a sin. It is a sin. It is an error. It is an error. It is wrong. And it is a sin that he comes ready for you and he goes back with what he came with. I refuse. I refuse. I'm receiving today something that for, it is for me and for my generation. His, his answer might know, but his answerness will not carry me when I'm going to mission field. I need power. I need something. I need something that he, I know he has. So as it comes today, my expectation is I'm going to have an encounter with God. He's not my colleague. Do you have someone who is saying, I'm ready for something today? This side, what is happening this side? Do you have someone who is saying, I'm ready for something today? You traveled all the way from Dika to come.
come and sleep here. You traveled all the way from USIU to come and rest here. You had a bed. We are young for a reason. We are young for a reason. Come on, somebody. A time is coming even if I bless my children on my bed. It is going to make a difference. But as of now, I cannot afford to do it. Seek the Lord thy God in the days of your youth. Shake it. So this is my season. This is your time. And God has brought you to such an environment. You shall come in the company of the prophets. And you shall be turned into another man. Tonight there is a turning. There is a turning. There is a turning. There, there is a turning. There, 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 is, a, there is a turning. There, 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 there is a turning. Into another man. There is a turning. Our prophet to the nations is coming in a few minutes. Receive no man after the flesh. Receive no man after. Lift up your hands. Wait, wait, wait. Before I we go, just a minute. Put your hands down. You are here and you can't speak in tongues. Lift up your hand. You've never been able to pray in tongues. There's an opportunity for you quickly. You're there? Come. Come, come to me. Everybody, everybody that can't speak in tongues, come. We're just reading the way. When the man of God comes, all you have to do is just blow. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Come on, okay? When daddy comes, we just want him to focus on going deep and deep. Another measure, oh, Holy Ghost, another Holy one thousand. Ghost, another one thousand. I need someone who can do that. I need someone who can do that. Come, keep coming, keep coming. Come, keep when daddy comes, he's just going to. you say this prayer, don't worry about falling. You don't have to fall. Just believe, okay? Lift up your hands. All right, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. The words of Papa are following us. When we were at the office, he said, call fire if you need to. So we said, we will not do it. It's our father's house, but the words are following us. So are we ready for the Holy Ghost now? Lift up your hands. Say, dear Lord, Make it louder. Dear Lord, Dear Lord I, am I am ready to receive, to receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking, of speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, come to me. Fill my heart in the name of Jesus. Be my helper. Be my guide. Jesus, baptize me now with the Holy Spirit and with fire in the name of Jesus. Look at me. All of you can speak in tongues, okay? Lift up your hands and speak in tongues. And make it loud. No English. Lift up your hands. Let it flow. Let it flow out. Let it flow loud. Don't, don't shut your mouth. If, don't look at me. I'm not the baptizer. Jesus is. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Make your bracket, take your bracket, take your bracket. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, make it louder. Don't think you're taking it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Make it louder. 